Hey guys, and welcome to my one of my updates on my main project that I'm doing for myself. And I just wanted to let you guys see what I've been up to for the last few, probably about a week now. I've been working on modeling this uh, this gun I found here on good old Google Images. Thank you, Google and Trimble. Was it Trimble? Something like that. I don't know. But I I came up with this little concept gun because I need some type of reference. Hey, when you're modeling, go for lots and lots of pictures of realistic guns, and then then, then just go crazy in in the editor or whatnot. I've seen some with oh, what do you want to call it? Those little spiky things on the side. A weaver rail or something, a bunch of these there, and I'm like, eh, this kind of, this kind of suck. And then I've seen this pyramid-like thingy for one of these with a rocket launcher, and I'm like, eh, what? I plan on making a bunch of attachments for that, and maybe some scopes, but it's a work in progress. And then this this pistol I have almost done. Now, <clears throat> this is one of those tedious things where you got all these little fins and this little doodah here and this little doodah and then your sights. This this thing doesn't look like it would be hard to make, but it's a pain. It really is. Now this thing's got all those curves and this this little part right here, it's hard to make look right and then you got this and I haven't started with this part yet, but ugh, it's a mess. But this this little piece right here, like this front, I'm not too happy with. I'm I'm thinking about going with like I don't know something different because I I don't really like it. But I had to do something instead of just have like what the pistol has, just this little circle thing. So I went ahead and modeled it and I haven't done the magazine fully yet. Got the low poly version of this. It's just real low. It's no big deal. Just a couple tubes. Easy to do, but eh, you know. Then there's the animation part of, of these. I'm, I plan on animating this gun probably, I don't know, today's Sunday. Probably have it animated in, in my game by you know, Wednesday or Thursday. So be expecting an update where you see this thing going at it. But here's my this part. I, I I don't like it being all black. It kind of fucky looking. And this flashlight. Who wants a flashlight in the game? I mean, come on. It's a flashlight. So I'll I'll probably be putting a laser or something like that on there and try to find some way of connecting it in game or something like that. This dual trigger thing that this thing's got, I'm not modeling that. You're never gonna see that. Like, like some of this stuff, like this stuff, this stuff, this stuff, this stuff. A lot of this stuff, even like at the end, I was debating on even caring about in here because you don't actually see it. So in first person view, you could probably have like this whole front right here, like not even there. Most of this stuff you could probably not even have there. This this trigger, I'll have as a separate piece, but I don't know why. Because when you're animating and you see, all you see is finger. You don't actually see the trigger. Come on. And the bullets, I need to model another magazine because this one has bullets all in one. So I need to empty one for my reload animation. But yeah, it'd be. It'd be pretty interesting. I'm not a modeler, but so this is going to take a while. I'd rather animate the model than texturing. Just whatever you guys do as modelers and that stuff, all those textures and things, they are phenomenal. Like, awesome. Because they have way more patience than me. 
I mean, you literally have to sit there and go through, I don't know, you see those textures in uh, Unity where they're all split apart and they're like all flat. That is a superb skill that I have yet to develop, so, oops. But, uh, just wanted to give you guys a heads up and see if you guys will probably like, uh, some new models and maybe pay attention to some updates on my main game but you know you know how it is busy 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 then I also have a tutorial where I'm going to be making videos of teaching people so this might come up for some modeling tips because when you go to make a model like this You cannot have too many of these things. These things right here. These. You cannot have too many faces and vertices. This one, you'll see edges, faces, tries. Terribly. You can't just throw in a whole bunch of them. You actually have to make it as low as possible. Which, you know, at these curves, it really helps when you triangulate these then you could just move them around to make them look nicer like you want this to be flatter you take the vertices and they go bloop, and you'll just smooth it out now when you're looking in game and you're far away that's going to look pretty round but if you're up close you'll probably see oh it looks flat this is a hard edge but you'll, you'll be alright. You just have to keep playing with it until you learn how. I like this bullet. I was going to put a center in it and all that stuff. And then I was like, wait a minute. I don't even actually see this junk. So, didn't even put it in there. Saved myself some vertices or whatnot. But, uh, yeah, just a little hint and a little bit of... This and that. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy the update and I uh, hope you took something from this. Maybe model a gun like I did. Never know. Oh, and it's very important when you do something like this point of origin. Put it where it's supposed to be. Like, you want to tilt this and go somewhat like this. If you don't have your your origin like this little yellow dot where it's supposed to it's really crummy to try to animate so you'll take it and you'll be like oh it's not where it's supposed to be and it'll do stupid stuff like this so I'll be moving this pretty soon and look, look here's another face that I don't have because I never see it so why model it but uh yeah just a, a little bit of something in this video and give you guys some information let me know uh what you guys think i'll see you in the tutorial or something take care guys